want to be at school. Um, we, you know, the teachers and coaches, we want our students at school. You normally see them out on the fields, but now coaches are in the driver's seats of the yellow school buses, all to help make getting students to and from school possible. Good evening and welcome to the Fox 8 10 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil and I'm Natalie Wilson. School staff doing what they can to provide other resources in the midst of COVID call outs and a dire bus driver shortage. Fox 8's Tyler Harden followed along as one shuttle made stops around Greensboro. Neil and Natalie, I saw dozens of Grimsley High School students hopping off a shuttle on West Market Street this afternoon. Now, Coach Jesse Tripp, he was the one that was driving that bus, and he says it was a lot faster and smoother than anticipated today. While some yellow school buses are stopped for Guilford County High School students in the cities of Greensboro and High Point, coaches like Grimsley High School's Jesse Tripp are getting behind the wheel to help get students to and from school. I mean, I drive the bus to all of our JV and varsity football games, so it's nothing new to me. Coaches or staff members at Grimsley, Page, Dudley, Smith, Andrews, and High Point Central stepped up to run the temporary shuttle stops. Page High School coach Evan Fancourt says shuttles run in areas where a lot of students need a ride. Familiarity with, with knowing who's driving, just the recognition of the yellow school bus and not having to do something different. It was packed. It was everyone in there. A parking lot on West Market Street is one of four Grimsley High shuttle stops. It's the one where 10th grader Anas Zaraf got off. I knew COVID was a big deal, but I didn't think it was going to like affect the bus systems or anything like that. Anas says this shuttle is more convenient than riding a city bus, where his commute would be longer because of a transfer. Like I was afraid, oh, my parents, they won't be able to drop me off because they both work in the morning. We would all do it in a heartbeat just to get our get our kids here and particularly some of those students that maybe are more vulnerable and really need to be here and want to be here. So, uh, you know, we want to make sure we can we're going to do everything we can to get them in the building. The shuttles are scheduled for the next two weeks, but could be extended if bus drivers are still out sick. Jesse hopes by then the Omicron surge will settle down. And myself and the other coaches and teachers have things that they do before and after school, whether that's athletics or you know, other prior engagements and families and things like that. While coaches have more flexibility now, off-season workouts are around the corner even this month. Now the shuttles could cut into those after-school activities. People driving the shuttle buses are required to have a commercial driver's license like the coaches you heard from tonight. Now ahead at 11, more on the toll that this has taken on some of the students. Live in the, news, uh, live in the studio, back to you.